I'm going to test the Ezoic site speed here. Okay, I have my uh, site that I'm monetizing with Ezoic and when I test that on GT metrics, it shows that the load time is 10 seconds, which is super high. The problem with that is that it can increase the bounce rate and make people click away. Now, I have not actually, I've been monetizing the website with Ezoic for about more than six months now, but I have not actually, I was reluctant to activate the site speed. And today I'm going to activate the site speed to see if I get an improvement in the load time. So without wasting your time, if you have not used Ezoic yet, now you understand that you're missing out. Why? Because Ezoic increases your revenue, the user experience on your website by keeping users longer and for, it has a high EPMV, revenue per 1000 visitors. Now, they are introducing a new future video, Ezoic video player, where it's an alternative to YouTube, where you can actually start monetizing your video without having to meet the YouTube requirement that they usually have those 1000 subscribers. So if you upload your video on Ezoic, Ezoic AI will push that on Google search. And then when people search for a keyword, you will be able to, um, they will be able to watch it and Ezoic will introduce the ad in the video and you will make money. Now, site speed, how does it work? If you've integrated your website with Ezoic and I've already made a full video on how to integrate your website with Ezoic, either the plugin or the name server, I have integrated mine with plugin. Now, if I want to turn on the site speed, I have to click here on site speed and then it will bring me down here on site speed accelerator. Now you have two things, site speed and caching. Because I have integrated my website with Ezoic plugin, I cannot install the caching. Now, if it's integrated with the name server, then you will be able to use Ezoe caching app to optimize the site speed. And I'm going to cover another video where I actually show you how to integrate with the name server in order to see if there's a difference in my site speed. But first, let's test, this, let's test the site speed accelerator function. Easily improve the performance of your website by decreasing the time it takes for user to engage with your content. This app allows to turn on several individual features that will automatically optimize the performance on your site in regard to speed. Now, hopefully it doesn't break up my site. Click on turn on. When you click on turn on, it says site speed is not running. It will not be live until the version is activated. So it's now you, you've turned that on, but it's not activated yet. You have to click on activate. And before activating, you have to always click on preview. Now I am going to preview my site to see if anything has changed on my site. Actually, it's loading a lot faster. Nothing has changed on the site. It's still the same thing. Let me just open one post to see how fast it actually opens. If you want to activate, you click on activate. But first, what I will do is that I install a plugin called Updraft Plus. I will first back up my website because we never really know. I'll back up my website. So head over plugin, add new, install the Updraft Plus uh, plugin, and then you'll be able to just back up your site. So what I do is that you just click on back up now. It will back up that on the local server that you can simply click on restore button to restore how it was at this time before you activated the Ezoic site speed plugin. So it will quickly back up, create copies of your files. And then after you're done backing up your site and then you've checked the preview, everything is fine. Now, you can click here on, okay, let me just see what they say here. Clone version, clear preview version, activate version. So I'm just gonna click on activate here. Activate this will begin your free seven day trial of site speed. Are you sure you want to activate this version? This will deactivate other version of this site, blah, 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 confirm. So, after activating a version for the first time, it can take up to 15 minutes before it's fully optimized life. And it says the free trial of site speed future ends on October 16th. So it's actually a paid future, huh? Interesting. Anyway, 
after that let me go back on my site i'm going to go back here on the site on the dashboard i'm going to purge the cache on all pages so that anything that's cached is removed and i'm going to see if the site speed is better on gt metrics now i'm gonna do that in about 10 minutes one hour later so it's been more than 20 30 minutes so what i'm going to do next because i already refresh purge all the cash is that i'm going to go back again on gt gtmetrics.com you go on gtmetrics.com this is the website right here and then you click on retest a few moments later actually this is nice because i have now a three seconds increase using a zoic site speed so it looks like it really improves my site and this is only the home page this is not uh, a blog post or anything now you see that the leverage browsing caching option is done and now i don't have those option those problems that i had before and if i the only problem that i have here is that i need to specify a cache validator and i don't know what that is and i believe probably if i use the zoe caching option if i use the zoe caching option that you be, be, by setting the name server i use the zoe caching option that issue will go away this issue will go away so i feel like I'm going to switch over integrating my website with the name server instead of using the plugin. Again, I'm going to put the link down below to a guide that can allow you to integrate your site using the name server. But then you need to head over to Azoic because you saw that Azoic not only it increases your revenue, but it also has this site speed function that can allow you to actually increase your site speed. Now, there are other things that I can do on my website to actually improve this. It's because this is my homepage and my homepage, I have a lot of pictures. When you have many pictures on your site, it actually increases the load time. I guess the only issue that I have with the site speed accelerator is that apparently it's a, it's a paid option. I mean, which is normal. Uh, you get, you pay a Zoe to actually make your site faster, which is normal. If you, if you want, increase in ranking um if you want more visitors and more revenue then you need a faster website and then that website because a faster website will tell google that your site is good and then they will, it will rank higher and then it's always give you that site speed function i will see before october 16 if i want to cancel this site speed thing and try other things on the side but I think I like it. I was reluctant. I've never activated it on my site, but because I was reluctant thinking that it would break my site, but it's actually not breaking my site. And I can potentially make more revenue per day because faster website will mean the post will rank higher and then more people will visit. So that's what I wanted to show you. If you think this is helpful, then please, I'm asking you to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel because I release a video every week to help you getting your business, your blog, and your life great to the next level. Until next time, take good care of yourself. Peace. And don't forget to smash like and subscribe. Thank you.